Hey folks, we'll go back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It is Sunday, September 17th, 2023. And uh, today I'm going to check on a couple of follow-up hives. So on my last video, you saw that little bitty swarm on the side of that one double-decker nuke over there. And uh, there was a little queen in there. Couldn't tell if she was a mated queen or virgin queen. She was somewhere in between size-wise. But... Uh, not sure the actual story on her, a lot of different possibilities. So she could have came from that hive number 37 there. Uh, I, could, I didn't find a queen in there and some of the larvae in the cells look like they may be drones. So she's laying drones in a worker cell is what it looked like. So I'm gonna check that out today and see if she was a superseded queen that left that hive and just went out on the side and a few of the bees went with her. Uh, what was weird though was there was no supersedure cells in there. So we need to check on that hive 37 and see what's going on in there. Maybe we'll find a queen, I don't know. And uh, after I shot that video, I started going through my hives over here thinking, man, if I can find a hive that needs a queen, I might stick her in there and see <laughs> if that'll save that hive. But uh, I got over here to uh, Hive 17 and I found uh, some supersedure cells that were open and they looked fresh. And I went a little farther and I found the queen. And I found on the same frame a virgin queen right next to her walking around. I was like, oh, great. So another possibility is that queen and that little swarm was one of those virgin queens that went out to mate and came back and got disoriented and got to the wrong spot so uh after so then i went to go get her and i was going to put her back in this hive 17 in case that's where she came from and uh she was on and uh, she had flown she was on a different hive a few hives down and the bees on that hive were attacking her and balling her up and trying to kill her so i got her in the clip and got her out of there got all those uh angry bees off of her and I moved her over here to 17. I put her on the uh, entrance and she walked right in and they didn't molest her. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she did come from that hive 17. Either way, we need to check both these hives and see what's going on because they're on the watch list uh, to uh, combine if they don't make it out, uh, make it through because they won't survive winter without a queen. So uh, we need to see what's going on in 17 with the two queens and what's going on over there with our little uh, swarm and we didn't find the queen on a hive 37 so let's get going okay so here's our hive 37 so everything looks good uh, from out front and uh, they got a little bit of fanning going on there but uh so that little clump of bees was right here on the side of the box All right, let's try this again. So, I, yeah, I think that little swarm was right here, not over there. Let's check this one. Because there wasn't near that many bees in this hive. And I, is that, and I remember I had the battery on there. It's been a week anyway. I can't remember things from a week ago. <laughs> and it is Hive 37. Yeah, this is looking like what I remember now. Okay. So I'll probably edit out. So uh, I inspected this hive accidentally thinking I needed to be in that one and it, this is the one I needed to be in. For some reason, I was thinking it was the one over here. So yeah, this is just nectar. I don't know why I put that frame back in there. Yeah. This is the hive, I remember. Nothing but nectar up top. I was thinking, man, how could that all that brood got up there so fast? Yeah. Yeah, and these two here are basically empty yep 
So we need to get down there in the bottom, look for a queen again. So it's been seven days since I was in here last and we didn't find that queen. And some of the larvae didn't look right. They look like they're gonna be drones. So here's our uh, yellow pollen. And here is one of our brood frames. Some of these cells are a little sticking out a little bit. So I think they are in fact drones. I'll give you a shot of that here in a second. Let me look for this queen here. So there are larvae in here and they look proportionally correct. They're not big fat larvae in a small cell. Oh, there's one emerging right there. See that bee coming out right there? Hello! But this other side is what I'm talking about. See how some of those cells that are capped stick up a little bit? I think those are, are drones. Like right in here, I think those are drones. And that's why I was thinking this queen was failing and she might be superseded. But I'm not seeing any queen cells being pulled down. Not yet anyway. So they think they're queen, right? So this frame looks good as far as the, the cells. They're all nice and flush. I see eggs in here. So there's, there's eggs down here around the edges. So she's been laying on here. So the, I, th I think we got us a queen in here that's laying. Maybe she was just uh, having some misfires there on those ones. Man, she ought to be on here. Yep, there's eggs out around the edges on this one too. So if I had to guess right now, I'd say this hive is queen right and good. Don't know why those one cells out there on the edge were bad. Well, she's a brand new queen. And I don't think that's the case. There's a little bit of brood on here and it looks good. A few larvae in there too. I can't tell, but I suspect she's been laying in here. in the shadow here. And this is all nectar frame. Well, she's in here somewhere. A lot of bees down on the bottom and around on the sides. She may be there. Let's get over to high 17. See what it looks like. I think this is good. Good as far as queen right. Uh, surviving winter. If it's a very mild winter, they'll be okay. Uh, if not, they're going to struggle. We'll check them back in a couple weeks and see what it looks like. I could give them a brood frame. Give them a few more uh, B pop a little bit more bee population yeah so we still need to verify the queen here and like put eyes on her right and uh it also needs fed a little bit they got pollen going in there but they could use some more uh food not because they're starving right now but because they need 
to store a little bit more for their winter stores. I'm turning these to where these uh, feeding spots are front and back instead of side to side. That way, if it's leaning front or back, the bees will be able to get all the syrup out. Okay, let's get over to Hive 17 and check it out. Okay, here is 17, and I put a brick on it, so I made sure to get in the right hive this time. <laughs> Still got my ventilation pennies on here. I put on here when the supers were on, and it was really hot out. That frame is empty. A little bit of nectar. This one's got a lot of cap and a lot of nectar in it. That's a good food source there for winter. Same thing here. Mostly nectar there. So they got quite a quite a few food stores up here in the top. But this is a heavy frame. All liquid and capped. Not a whole lot of bees in this hive. Same thing. So this hive is marginal for a wax moth, small hive beetles. All that uncapped comb with the nectar in it, it's asking for trouble. We need the population to get going in here. Or maybe we should reduce it down. And this last frame is a lot of capped nectar on there. Pretty good weight to that. Looks like most of our bees are over here. Not much going on out here. Seems like I saw the, the queen and the virgin queen on one of these two frames here. I was in a hurry, man. I just scooched over real fast and went right in there and found them. Not much. That's an all drone comb with some capped honey. A little bit of capped honey. Same thing. Drone comb. And it's old. Probably need to rotate those out. This whole bottom box is really looking old. It's not marked what year it is. So that tells me it was... Uh, pre-2020 or pre-19 I got some 19 some 17s marked some of them I didn't get marked way back when yeah this is all empty down here just got our bees right here we probably should reduce this not going to do it today so here's some good nectar close to the bees so remember, this is the hive. I set that queen from that little swarm, set her on the front door, and she walked right in, and they didn't attack her, which kind of tells me that she may have been from this hive. So we've got larva right here, and here's a queen. So there's us a queen right there walking around by herself. And uh, she looks about like the one I saw I figured was the original queen. And she's about the size of that one that uh, I let in the door. So she could be either one of those. So, oh, and here's, here's another queen right here. Where'd she go? Right there. Now this queen acts like She's got it going on. See how she's going around looking in the cells like, like she's intentional, going to do something. Like she's looking for a place to lay. And there's a lot of bees around her. 
So this may have been, she looks mated too. That looks like a fresh mated queen there. Or man, I don't know, I can't tell. By size, she's, she's not tiny like a virgin. So I think she's mated. I think both of these queens on this frame are mated. So what do you do when you see two queens? I just let nature take its course. I've, I've seen this very rarely, but it happens. When I saw it before, one was definitely a virgin, so you knew they were superseding. So that the first queen I showed you, she may be the original queen, and she's, she's about played out because she was up there on that frame kind of all by herself, away from all the brood. And uh, there's a lot of larvae in here. There's a larva all up in here. I don't know if they're visible to you. So there's a, a decent laying queen in here. I would say it was that second one that we saw. Yeah, there's a lot of larvae on this side too. They're all right in here. And then there's capped out here. So these have emerged on their way out and another queen is laid in the center working back and backfilling this. It's just uh, down on population. So I would guess they had a brood break while they were getting that other queen going. So this is a small hive going into winter. Looks like she's laid in here as well. Yeah, that first queen she looked like she was just kind of hanging out and that second queen looked like she was busy doing stuff right she was going around looking in cells figuring out where she's going to lay next so that's it for the brood looks like and this here is going to be a food frame so what we could do is reduce this down i probably will do this and uh i'll do it at a later time Put the really heavy nectar frames on the on the outside edges and uh, reduce this down to a 10 frame so i'd say this is queen right hive it's behind the curve we could give it a brood frame too boost it up a little so all these frames here will basically go and the four uh, frames with the most nectar We'll put two on each side, maybe get rid of this one and we could go five. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this. I got enough daylight and uh, I got some other things I need to be working on right now, but this won't take me long. And I'll use this box here to haul off my frames that uh, I'm not gonna use. So let's get these empties out of here. So even with this empty, there's a little bit of honey on that. And there's some hive beetles running around there so that's that's bad news this is that drone comb i can set this up there by the barn let the bees clear it out oops so there's four there's nothing in that so there's five we may leave this one to center them up yeah we'll leave that scoop this over here check this outside frame here it's a little bit of honey there i want to see what we got up here so i'm thinking we got better frames with more in them there's a candidate possibly this is heavy. We want that. Here's another heavy. Put it on this side. Yeah, here's a nice one. Let's see, what do we got now? Three, six, nine. Oh. I think I'm going to take this one out. Nope. Which one was it? Is it this one? Sheesh. 
all these are pretty heavy. What I didn't see in here is much pollen. So I might put a little piece of a pollen patty on top of them. We'll let this all get rubbed out. I need to shake these bees out of here. Actually, I could put these in other hives. That's what I'll do. I'll find some hives that uh, have some blanks up top and I'll put these in there. It's going to be robbing here any minute. I got to get them put away. So this hive right now like that is uh, not bad for winter because it's pretty heavy now. Yep. So I'm going to let these rub, get rubbed out and I'm going to cull them because it's all that drone comb and it's, it's really old dark stuff. This one's not bad. I may see if I can use that somewhere. Ouch. There, I got stung. Took him a while. <laughs> I'm gonna take these up to the trailer and get them away from this hive. So now what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna pop open some of these hives that I got some uh, markers on them that show that I'm feeding them. And I'll take those three frames and disperse them out there. I'm gonna take this box up and put it under cover up there. Let the bees rob it out far away from here and get all the honey out of that. So they'll get a little bit out of that. And uh, with that, I'm gonna end this video here. And uh, this uh, hive, I think it's set now. It's, it's heavy, it's got a lot of uh, honey in there. Got a good laying queen. And I think that other one does too. So we may be good. So uh, I was doubting mother nature and mother nature uh, said uh, in your face. So she's got this, so we're gonna go with it. So give me a thumbs up on the video and don't forget to subscribe. On your way out, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care. my smoker lit but I'm not gonna smoke them here right off because I want to I don't want to run a queen off if there's a queen in there that I missed last time and this is my Saracel nuke feeder it needs painted that's uh I haven't put any feed in it I need need to get some feed in here to get a little bit more food in that this top box well, this is different. There's a lot more bees up here this time in the top. A lot of bees in the bottom of this. You don't want to leave these on in the spring because they'll start building comb up in here. Whoa, that wasn't good. Yeah, lots of bees working up in here. So there's a little bit of a nectar flow going on now. A lot of the wildflowers are starting to bloom because we had a little bit of rain last week. So that may be why there's more bees up top. They're working this nectar bringing it in. Lots of the flowers up at the, the wife's uh, flower garden are blooming and the bees are all over them. If you saw my Facebook page, I put it, ah, oh, dang it. I did that on the last video. Didn't learn my lesson. So we've got brood up here now. So 
So there must have been eggs up here I didn't see before. So now I'm seeing this cap brood here and these larvae in there look good. So they're the right proportion for the cell. And uh, I think I see a few eggs out to the edge, which means there's a queen in here, a good queen. And I just overlooked her last time. I may be remembering this one over here that was this nectar in the top. But I sure don't remember seeing any larva or brood or anything up top here. So this is full of real young larvae up in here. So we got us a good laying queen here. It'd be cool if I could spot her because I sure missed her last time. She may be one of those tiger butt queens that I can never find. Yeah, so these uh, larvae are gonna be the winter bees that uh, overwinter this hive. They're gonna have a higher fat content and they're gonna live a lot longer than these summer bees. So we need to get nutrition in here, nectar, pollen, which they're bringing in that yellow pollen we saw before. So this here's all nectar and pollen. So with proper nutrition on these young larvae, get them to maturity, that's gonna be the bees that get this thing through winter. So I could quit right now. I've seen what I need to see. I've seen larvae and eggs, and the larvae look good. Last time, I saw some larvae down on the bottom, and it looked to me like they were turning into drones in a worker cell, which is a bad thing. It means your queen has no fertile eggs left. Pretty much an empty frame here. It's old natural comb. Just a little bit of capped brood right there. And here's the brood frame I remember before. They all look correct. They're not uh, sticking up like they're drones. Maybe I just misread the frame. There's a few little larvae in here. Feels like I got a bee crawling up my leg. Yep, definitely a bee crawling up my leg. Hadn't stung me yet. Actually, I think this is hive 36, not 37. Here's the frame that had all the yellow pollen on it. See all that pretty yellow pollen? So they'll use that to feed those larvae along with that nectar. This is going to be all nectar here. Yeah, a little bit capped. So again, we didn't find that queen. I know she's in here though. Oh, there she is. She's small and she's marked red. Right there. All right, let's get her put back. That's all that she's on that outside uh, frame on the very outside. Move it in there nice and gently. So yeah, this hive was queen, right? So that, that queen we saw out there was not from this hive. So that tells me she was likely uh, a queen returning from a mating flight or she's a superseder queen from another hive. I'm in the wrong hive. I think it was this one here. That's why it looks different. What is that? Yeah, it needs to go away. Ah!